Crouch low, keeping close and looking for cover. Volunteers with the Georgian Legion are training before expected frontline combat in the coming weeks. The unit was established in 2014 after Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea, but dramatically expanded after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine last year. Many of these men are motivated by history, a personal vendetta held since Russia invaded Georgia in 2008. This is not only Ukraine's fight, it is ours too. I feel at home here. My uncle was killed by Russian aggression in 2008. I joined the Legion to take revenge. These men are training on how to clear a building. They've been told by their intelligence team that there are both Russian forces and possibly civilians inside, so they have to be extra vigilant. This kind of training is vital as these men prepare for the expected spring offensive. The Georgian Legion has around 2,000 men. They have fought in various places along the more than 1,000 kilometre front line. Most of the volunteers have already had combat experience, either in Ukraine or in wars including Iraq and Afghanistan. The majority are Georgian, but 33 other nationalities fight and train with them. Kenichi has a three-year-old son in Tokyo. After his divorce, he resigned from his job in business and came to Ukraine. Children were dying, children like mine. I saw the war on TV and was continually troubled by it. I thought it was impossible to justify. Haru was a member of the Japanese organized crime group, the Yakuza. He served a 10-year prison sentence before becoming a lumberjack. He has two children in Osaka. I committed various crimes in Japan long ago. I want to atone for those things and heal my life. That's why I came. One volunteer from Bolivia who refused to speak on camera said he had lost many foreign friends on the battlefield. The volunteers are paid around $3,000 a month for frontline work, the same as Ukrainian soldiers. We've had military training from the Americans and the French. It has been useful. I cannot say when the counteroffensive will start, but very soon we will go and help our Ukrainian brothers. For now, these men prepare to fight. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.